we are in the western part of the state, kind of by uh, Kentucky, and this place more so than others is a reference stream because it's not affected by any mine plants. We do four tests, metals, alkalinity, conductivity, and total dissolved solids. For an undergraduate that has some basic courses in say biology and chemistry, this is sort of where the rubber meets the road and they can apply that knowledge, learn about the different materials in the water that change its chemistry and in turn affect biology, uh, as well as learning about the landscape and the, the human impacts to our landscape. And also with field work, all the sampling that we do, I had no clue what the methods were for that either. So I, got, I really know pretty much the ins and out now of how to do sampling and analysis for those samples. For our biological sampling today, we found a variety of stoneflies primarily, as well as some crayfish and some caddisflies. And the stoneflies in particular are generally sensitive to disturbances. So their presence indicates that this is a healthy system. I am really passionate about what I'm doing. You know, most of all, I'm really into water quality and I've lived around the bay my whole life, so that's been a huge issue there. This is both what we base the laws off of and also how we implement the laws. This makes me want to do something science-oriented.